In country C, the unemployment rate among construction workers dropped from 16% on September 1st, 1992 to 9% on September 1st, 1996. The number of construction workers was 20% greater in 1996 than in 1992. What was the approximate percent change in the number of unemployed construction workers over this period? Well, first of all, let's say that the number of workers in 1992 is N. And then we're going to have a 20% increase. So in order to have a 20% increase, we're going to take 20%. We're going to change it to a decimal, 0.2. We're going to add 1 to get a multiplier, 1.2. Then we're going to multiply it by that, 1.2n. And that represents a 20% increase in the number of workers. Incidentally, if all this stuff about percents is rusty to you or a bit unfamiliar, I'd highly recommend check out Magoosh. We have over 200 videos preparing you for everything you need to know for the GMAT, both math and verbal, including a series of videos to help you with percents. And percents, as it turns out, is one of the most heavily tested topics on GMAT math. So it's very important to be perfectly clear on how to handle percents. So back to our percents here. We want to go from the total number of workers to the total number of unemployed. So in 1992, 16% of this N were unemployed. So that is 1.6 N is unemployed. In 1996, 9% of this total is unemployed. So that is 0 0.09 times 1.2 N. And a little multiplying, that equals 0 0.108 N. So first of all, notice that this number is lower than this number. So in other words, the total number of unemployed has decreased over this period. So right away, we can eliminate answer choices D and E because we know we're dealing with a decrease, not an increase. We want to know about the change from 0 0.160 down to 0 0.108. And I point out it's probably easier to think about whole numbers rather than decimals. So I'm just going to say this is exactly the same as the change from 160 down to 108. What percent change is that? Well, clearly, if we went down 50%, 50% would be we'd go down to 80. So that's going to be too big. That's too much of a drop. So we know that 10% of 160 is 16. And so the drop is a little over 40, actually it's a little over 50, but we're very close to 50. So notice that if we multiply by 3, 30% 30 of 160 would be 3 times 16, which is 48. And that is very close to the difference between 160 and 108. So if we're approximating a 30% decrease is an excellent approximation. And this is answer choice B.